Hi everyone, welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today I am going to share with you how to configure the dependent dropdown and how to split a text value with a specific delimiter and how to retrieve the value after the text is split. Let's check out how does the dependent dropdown works. To demonstrate the function, I use the last demo app, the reporting with chart app. If you are interested in the reporting with chart, kindly click on the link shared at the top right corner. I have created a new module to demonstrate the dependent dropdown, the job list. This job list allows us to assign a job to the staff. Set the date, set the job name and set the job description. Then assign to the department. Lastly, assign to staff. This is a dependent dropdown list. The staff list is depending on what value I have chosen for the department. Whenever we change the department, the staff list is refreshed with the new values. Since the job is submitting the sale report, let's assign the job to Helen from sales department. So this is how the dependent dropdown works. Let me share with you, how does the data is listed in the Google Sheet? This is the job table. We have a record ID, date, job name, job description, assigned to department, assigned to staff and lastly the staff ID. The assigned to department, staff ID and name is getting from the staff master table. From the column staff ID, name and department. So this is our data structure, let's proceed to check out the configuration. As usual, let's start with the data column configuration. First, check out the master table. In the master table, we create a virtual column which concatenate the staff ID and name with a delimiter of the dash and then for the job table record ID is text with an initial value of unique ID date column is date, job name is text and the job description is long text next, the assigned to department column Set this column as text type, with a valid if as master department. Master is the staff master table name, while the department is the column name. By this expression, it will list all unique departments from the master table. Like this. Alright, let's proceed to the next column, the assigned to staff column. Set this column as text type, with a valid if as master, staff ID name. With this expression, it will list all unique staff ID name according to the selected department. Like this. Lastly, the staff ID. Set this column as text, and auto-compute a value with an app formula. This formula is returning the value of staff ID, which split it from the assigned to staff column. After the value is split with delimiter dash, we use the index function, to get item 1 in the split list. Alright, our data is ready, let's proceed with the user interface. Let's check out the job list in the main menu first. Set is as shown. Done, let's proceed with the assigning job form. Set is as shown. Mm -hmm. 
So, this is our assigning job form. Done, let's proceed with the job detail view. This job detail view is default created by Upsheet, just set as shown. And this is our job detail view. Alright, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys in the next video. Bye.